name is Rana, I go by they them pronouns, and I'm ready to be your Mr. Blue and Gold. Now they say that you should dress for the job that you... Shit! That would have been bad. Hold on a minute, folks. You're supposed to dress for the job you want, and this job has a very, very specific dress code. There we go. Don't need these for this. Uh, some of you might better know me as Catherine. I'm an ECE 2TOT1 plus 1 plus PEY, maybe soon to be plus 2. And uh, what that basically means is that I've been here since 2016 in this wonderful community. And so you might be wondering, you know, a little bit about me, but we can forget about that for now. Why don't we get to the real thing that I know all the judges are here for, their bribes. So let's start with that. All right, so Darsh, you are a photography master. I've seen some of your photos. They're very well done. So, so of course, I've sent you some classic photography memes, as well as some references, some places that I think would be fun for you to shoot in Toronto, uh, as well as this glass, so you can hydrate and always look like a lens for the best shot. Now, next we have Julia. Julia, you and me both know that we're both nerds, right? So don't worry, I know you're a Trekkie, you dressed up as Spock for Halloween one year. I got you covered. I have made you a custom Spock book per, uh, bookmark. There you go right there. And what do you need for a bookmark? You need books. I'm going to send you some book recommendations, as well as some Star Trek memes to, you know, spice things up a little bit. Now, Kohava, you're also a nerd, but in a little bit of a different way. I know that you watch Critical Role from your Facebook, don't worry, I watch it too. And so I'd like to give you this. Now you might not know what this is or what the fuck I'm talking about, but this is a mold uh, to create a D20. And I'd like to make you a custom die. So you can hopefully roll those gnats. Uh, as well as I'd like to offer you and up to four of your friends a chance for me to be your dungeon master and walk you through a Dungeons and Dragons one shot. Uh, you know, so hit me up, we'll have a good time. Let's play some Dungeons and Dragons. All right, so next we have Liam. Liam, you're a drummer. I know that. School night really needed you. And so what I got for you, I got you some music memes, obviously, as well as some music recommendations. Everyone's getting a little tired of their own stuff, I'm sure. Uh, as well as this glass here. Now, you might be wondering, what are these four bars of music on here? It's definitely for drums. Uh, it is the first four bars of Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. You can rickroll your friends while you hydrate. I'll let you decide what you decide to hydrate with. Uh, and you know, it's kind of a fun drum line. All right, next we have Olivia. Olivia, you and me both love dogs. Don't worry, I got you. I sent you not only photos of my dog, but photos of my favorite internet dogs. Uh, I know you also like the garden, and look, it's a little hard to garden uh, in the city, so I got you this dog mug that I'm gonna put a cutting of one of my succulents into. Uh, this succulent literally refuses to die. It's been alive for like two months without me watering it. Uh, so you won't kill it either. And hopefully this will bring a little green to your life. All right. Uh, Rick Noon, for you. I've seen your post on the U of T meme page. We recognize each other, we see each other, right? We're both meme lords, we all know this. So I've made you some custom memes that I personally have made all about you as well as my favorite meme app to make memes on the go. I know you commute. Not right now, but you know, you'll commute again hopefully soon in the future. Uh, no watermarks. That's not Mematic. This is like a choice quality app. Uh, and lastly, I'd like you to send me your favorite meme, either made by you or just in general, and I'd like to make you a custom frame for it. So hit me up and we can get that done so you can frame all of your favorite memes. All right. And last but not least, I see our current Mr. Blue and Gold right now. Uh, in 2019, uh, during Godiva week, I ran for Godiva's crown and I made a promise to the people to run for Mr. Blue and Gold. At that time I gave Godiva's crown a patch. I'd like to do the same for you, to commemorate your year of being Mr. Blue and Gold. And to thank you for all the uh, school spirit that you've brought during this whack year. Uh, not only that, I know that you've been dropping your pants for an entire year. You're probably getting bored of all the boxes you have. I mean, you've seen them lost before, everyone else has seen them lost before. So I sent you a YouTube tutorial on how to make your own boxers. So I know no one's going to ask you to take off your pants anymore. 
Um, but at least you'll know that you have something fresh underneath. All right, well, there's the bribes. Now what about for you, school, the rest of the people watching? Well, I think Mr. Blue and Gold is about two main things. One, bringing the fucking school spirit, you know, S-K-U-L-E, engineering U of T. And doing that with silly shenanigans like dropping your pants. You don't think I, I came up here in my underwear for myself, right? This is all for you. And the other thing is, you know, a little bit less silly, a little bit less fun, but still super important is being that support, being a mentor, being, being someone that the first years and anyone in school can look at for inspiration and hope for, you know, better times and better this, and even more, a support for my fellow uh, spirit heads. You know, make sure that we're all doing okay and all able to bring the school spirit to the max, especially Godiva's crown. Um, and so I'd like to sing a song that originally was just supposed to be to show my love for a potential future fiance, maybe if things go well with this performance, um, but also to all of you at school. So let's hit it. When I first looked in your eyes, you were more than just a beauty to me. All my senses shut straight up, I was rock hard emotionally. The fact that I could drop out was something I hadn't even thought about starting now. This heart boners for you. You've helped me grow into a man. My shallowness is a thing of the past. I want to slam you with my empathy. I want to rail you with my class. Help me find maturity. I'll be your Mr. B. Heart boners for you. 
every throbbing inch of my heart is just for you. Every throbbing inch of my heart is just for you.